Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the St. Baldrick's event of the year. It is time to Brave the Shave 2023. We are live on Channel 13 and as well right here in Minneapolis in the lobby. We are going to be shaving heads for kids' cancer research through St. Baldrick's. We are stoked to be back here again after a two-year absence. Those of you can hear me, make a little noise, clap for each other. Now, we have 28 people shaving their heads. Uh, and if you're interested and want to come down, we've got sandwiches from Caffrey's, ice cream sandwiches from Kemp's and Popsicles too. And also, um, <laughs> we have fa uh, tattoos and cartoons made just for you. So come on down. We've got Pauline and Sydney doing tattoos and the one and only Josh Purple doing our cartoons again this year. This is amazing. So come on down. We're going to be here till about 7 o'clock, and we're, people are going to be shaving their heads. Now, they say this every year. Dude, is this the year you're going to do it? And the answer is still no. So I think we should head on up. Now, so we don't have a lot of our shavies here yet, but uh, there is actually a special shavy that has signed up uh, for the first round. It is Great Clip's own. Uh, come on up. Let's do it, Bailey. We're going to show them how it's done, right? Then afterwards, Christiane, why don't you join me on stage? But let's do uh, Great Clips' very own. Um, Bailey, hi. Hi. So you just decided to do this? Uh, yeah, when I got here today. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'll let you get... Now, you trust your coworker. Oh, my gosh, she's already... You trust your coworkers, right? Absolutely. All right, well, let's give her a little bit of applause here. And every time that we have people set up, I'll give you the cue. I'll say, it's time to, and then you all say, brave the shave. Okay, Re ready? It's time to. Oh, that's great. Have fun.
Awesome. We're here with Bailey. Have you gotten a mirror yet? No. Oh, we'll get a mirror. Doesn't she look amazing? Yes, you really rock the look. Look at that. Thank you so much. That's how you get a party started right there. Your own, the own stylist is now shaving. Uh, let's bring up, uh, where's Chris Ann Schultz? Come on up here, Chris Ann. Dr. Chris Ann Schultz, everybody. Yay. Kind of the one that Mike's right over there, friend. All right. Hello. Hello again. We're back. Can we get some volume in the studio, please? Or in the lobby? Check, check. Oh, there we go. Go ahead. Welcome back, everyone. We are so excited to be back for this event. This is our 12th annual head shaving event. Oh, my. We're uh, moving on to our next group. Are we ready? I think we're I ready. I think we keep the night of moving along. It's the Schmitz crew, Ryan and Zach. Welcome. The, yeah, give it up, the Schmitz. I should, uh, Christian, do you want to explain also uh, what they're doing with the flower as well? Oh, yes. So anyone who would like, whether you're shaving or not, you're welcome to take a flower from that face there. Um, label it or not label it as you wish, um, but bring it forward in honor of someone that you're here um, in honor of um, or someone that you're shaving in honor of. So we certainly welcome you to do that. And then you're welcome to take that flower home at the end of the night. All right. Uh, Zach and Ryan. Is that correct, Ryan? Yeah, I was just talking to you before. How many years in a row is this? This will be number 10 for us. Give it up, you guys. Yes. And you guys are down with Dylan. Is that right? Down with Dylan. And in honor of our, my son and his little brother who passed away from cancer about nine years ago. And uh, we were here. The first time we did it, we were here. We didn't even know the event was going on. And we, heard, we came down for lunch and saw it and decided... What the heck? Let's 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 go down here and That's know. amazing. What a legacy you've built for your son. So much time at this with all of his medical issues he had from birth and it really became a second home for us for for 20, you know, basically 26 months that he was with us. 20, 28 months. We spent probably a third of his life at this place and kind of miss it to be honest. Well, I tell you what. Let's do this for Dylan. Thank you for creating such a legacy for your son. It's times like this that, in my mind, he still lives on because you do stuff like this. So well done. Let's do it. Hey. All right. I can't, we, we got to change our chant. It's going to be shave the day, okay? So let's go, everybody. It's time to shave the day. Here you go. Right, you guys, we're going to keep shaving the day. But we also have two more that are going to join us. Uh, it is Sophia and Dad, is that right? 
Sophia and Eric, they're also going to. Come on up, guys. Yeah. We got a spare chair. Let's get some shaving going, huh? I just heard this is, you're a knight. Is that true? Yes. Wow. What's that like to be a knight? Awesome. Oh, good. Because uh, St. Baldrick's has like an award that they give out for three, five, seven, ten years. Yeah. And this is year what? This is her seventh year, so she's a knight of the bald table. Knight of the bald table. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you for protecting our kingdom. And uh, let's do it. Let's give uh, Sophia and Eric some love because it's time to
All right, everybody. Let's give it up for Eric and Sophia. Year seven, hooray! And also, Ryan and Zach, finishing touches. Absolutely wonderful. Way to go, Dad. Way to go, Dad. All right. Um, Steve Adams, Nancy Hertz, and Matthew Hertz, you're on deck, so come on down. These are, the, you guys are longtime shavees, aren't you? You are. Are you bringing new people with you? Good for you. Nice to see you growing it out. All right, what's your first name? Who are you? You're Steve. Matthew, that's going to be a quick job on you, bud. That's fine. That's fine. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks again for being here this year. This is great. All right. So right here, if you're watching us on Channel 13, again, sandwiches are actually, who's had a sandwich yet? They're good. Thank you, Caffrey's, for the discounted Sammy's. And Kemp's is here. They're donors of ours. Uh, ice cream sandwiches and popsicles are available. They're all delish. Also, you can grab some water, too, if you want. And we're doing some cartoons. My friend Josh Purple is in the studio. Plus, if you guys want to get tatted up, let's do it. Go get some tattoos on you for, for, uh, for fun. Awesome. Okay. Also, uh, how about a shout out to our foundation who kind of set everything up and, you know, they put a lot of work into this. Thank you. And my coworkers at Star Studio for whatever it is we're doing. I don't know what we're doing. Aww. I'm just hanging out. I'm on my seventh sandwich. Hi, Aiden. <laughs> All right. Way to go, Zach. How's it feel, bud? Good. Yeah. Cold. Awesome. If it's cold, he says good, cold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Looking good, Ryan. Said no one ever. He, okay. Honestly, that. In my defense, I was left unsupervised. Honestly, there were there were times where we were up on the seventh floor where the, my son and I could have used that shirt. It kind of uh, identified us. There were times where the nurses and us were, were not allowed to be together because we would cause problems, the three of us. So that's awesome. 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 Yay, let's give it up uh, one more time for Ryan and Zach and Dylan. Thanks for sharing your story, sir. All right. Oh, Kandish. Shiny. Shiny. Yeah. Oh, I need to get some of that. Give it up for the dude. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Down with Dylan. Let's bring him up. Steve, Nancy, Matthew, come on. Yes. We're right on sketch, too, by the way, aren't we? Pretty good. Running a tight show. Hi. Oh, awesome to have you guys. Thank you so much. Um, so, Steve, you said you've been here coming how many years? Five years. This is year five. Okay, very cool. Are you losing the beard, too? Absolutely. Well, let's take a look. You can pull the mask down. Let me see what we're looking at here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a few months. Okay. You did the pregame warm-up? Yes. Okay. All right, well, we appreciate you guys coming here, and, and good job roping in new friends. That's great. All right, let's give our friends uh, Steve, Nancy, and Matthew some support because it's time to shave.
Excellent. Putting on the finishing touches, Steve, Nancy, and Matthew. Give it up for Matthew. Yay. And Nancy, awesome. Yes. And oh, Mr. Fancy over there with his beard. Okay, getting the treatment. All right, I just want to announce that Friends of Emily are next, and one member of Adrian's Bald Beauties and Beasties, uh, John Swanson. Now, where is John? John, come up here for a sec. We're going to talk about this a little bit because, John, I'll have you sit right here if you want. Welcome to my talk show. So, John, tell us a little bit about the cut that you're going to get. You're not just shaving your head. What, what's happening with you? Uh, the Mr. Burns. It's called the Mr. Burns. Is that like a Simpsons reference? Yes. Okay. It's also been called the Horseshoe, right? And uh, the liberal arts professor. Look. Okay. Um, I understand you raised extra money to get this cut. Yeah. Give it up for that. Come on. That's cool. All right, so we have a horseshoe slash Mr. Burns specialist in the house back here. Oh, yeah, okay. Then let's go ahead. Let's bring up uh, Christopher and Aiden, Aiden Kubacheski. <laughs> Friends of Emily. Scootin' chairs. Let's do it. Hop on up here, broski. I'll hold this down for you. Yeah, you can climb on up. <laughs> All right, Aiden, how old are you? Eight. Eight? Oh my gosh, is this the first time you've ever shaved your head like this? Yeah. And you're doing this uh, in honor of, I believe, was it your cousin? Cousin Emily? Yeah. Cousin Emily and it's dad, right? Yeah. How many years now, dad? Nine years. Nine years, hooray! <laughs> awesome, we can come around the front here. All right, Steve. You have to finish it at home. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Give it up for Steve, everybody. Thanks a lot. Five years. Congratulations. Five years. Very cool. All right, come on over here, Chris, Christopher. Chris is good. My mom calls me by Christopher. Oh, Christopher. Go shaving your head. Now, this is in honor of Emily. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Emily is my daughter. Um, Back in 2012, she was treated here for uh, brain cancer. And you know, I remember her, right? I know. I know. She she called into our show, and I would go and visit her a lot. Oh, absolutely. And won, won some games. You brought her prizes. And you were one of her best friends while she was here. BFFs. BFFs. Oh, oh bingo. Yeah. Yes, bingo. She was a professional bingo player. Oh, yes, absolutely. She did that just because she wanted you to come up and say hi. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm so glad you guys are here. Uh, Aiden, are you ready? Chris, let's do it. It's time to shave the day. It's already looking good, dude.
All right, everybody. It's looking really good, John. Uh, uh, yeah, let's get that mirror. Let's get John's reaction here. That's great, dude. <laughs> you did it, man. That's for extra. I hope it was worth the extra money. That he did that, and he raised extra money uh, for this cause. If he didn't, give it up for John Swanson. Yes. All right, I just wanted to give everybody a heads up that uh, the next grouping of people is going to be Stephanie Merfeld, Avery Merfeld, Noah Klein, and Brady Charles. We're going to do four this round, next round. So you guys are on deck, okay? Say that again, Chris. I said, I keep waiting for you, dude. You, every year you tell me you're going to sit next to me and shave your head. But you know, here we are. You're not sitting next to me getting your head shaved again. What do you guys think? Should I do it this year? Yeah. I'm sorry. That was pretty weak. I'm not doing it. All right. Uh, hey, give it up for Aiden as well. Good job, little dude. Yeah. For Emily. Awesome. You know what? We can go ahead. Where is uh, the Murfelds, Stephanie and Avery? Why don't you guys come on up and grab a seat? Well, they're putting the, uh, the beautiful final touches on Chris here. Awesome. And you got it all colored and got it all did, and that looks all good. Okay. You did it? Oh, really? You, you forgot to dye it, but you bleached it. Okay, well, um, this is super cool. Let's talk, uh, let me come over here. Look, can we talk about Adrian's Bald Beauties and Beasties? That's the group that you're with? That's more my mom's questions. Oh, that's a question for mom, okay. Where's mom? Oh, hi. Hi. I didn't... Hi, tell me about Adrian's Bald Beauties and Beasties. Uh, what's to say? <laughs> what is the group? The group is, this is my 11th year, and yeah, uh, uh, Mary Catherine's 10th year. She's been here since the second year. Yay! I've, um, this is Avery's seventh year. Adrian was a patient here with Chris Ann. Um, and this will be his ninth year in the afterlife. <laughs> So a great, a great legacy that you've yeah. given him. Yes, very cool. So far, I think I figured it out. Um, I personally have raised fourteen thousand for St. Baldrick's in my eleven years, and I think Adrian Baldusties has um, raised like twenty something. Congratulations! Yeah. Very cool. Well, we're gonna get it going again. So let's bring up. Where is uh, Noah and Brady? Come on up, guys. Noah and Brady. Who are you? Which, you're Noah. Go ahead. Grab a chair. And Brady Charles. Yeah, that's, Noah. that's you? Yeah, that's me. Stop for a second. Under your name, it says Stud Muffin. Can you explain that? Uh, I, I decided to go with a new name this year, and so I went with the Stud Muffin. So Aww. solid, solid team name. Awesome. Uh, I happened to, uh, I remember the thing that you and your sister made me. It was a Christmas decoration with your guys' picture in it. Do you remember that? I, I do believe we, we've made a couple of Christmas decorations for you, for sure, yeah. Have a seat, young man. 
All right, everybody. Oh, we're underway. Let's wish them the best as they shake.
Yes, everybody, give it up for Avery. <laughs> Finishing touches. I'm gonna head on down here to uh, to uh, Brady. You remember that thing I was telling you about? I do, I do. I found it. This is you and your sister 10 years ago. There it is. Something that you made me. Mm -hmm. I remember cutting those styrofoam balls, I guess. Yeah. You remember cutting the styrofoam balls in your, in your house yeah. and the mess you made? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, I've kept it, and I'll keep it forever, all right, to remember your sister. Give it up for Brady. That's so cute. All right, finishing touches. Oh, by the way, uh, coming up, uh, we can probably just go ahead and get started. Chris Ann, if you want to go ahead and grab your microphone, I don't know where I. But we're going to take a quick little break in the shave, and uh, we're going to we're going to talk just a little bit about this event and what it means, and then uh, we'll turn it back on. Okay, so uh, Chris Ann, take it away. Hello. Dr. Christine Schultz, everybody. <laughs> hey! We all know her. We know her. We love her. <laughs> Well, first of all, I just really want to thank everyone for coming here tonight. I'm just so excited that this event is back in person now. <laughs> so this is our 12th annual head shaving event here at Children's Minnesota to support St. Baldrick's Foundation. Um, and as all of you know, this event is, of course, about head shaving, um, but it's also about more than head shaving. It's also about honoring and celebrating um, kids with cancer and their families, honoring their journey um, and keeping those who we hold so dear um, so close to our hearts and honoring their legacy as well. Um, this event is also about raising um, key funds for childhood cancer research. We know that childhood cancer research receives only a very small portion of National Cancer Institute funding. Um, and so St. Baldrick's really helps fill some of that gap through funding key research projects. Um, and actually, I serve as a reviewer for some of those research grants coming in. And I will tell you that really great stuff comes in. Um, and thanks to events like this, St. Baldrick's can fund a good portion of that. So thank you for all that all of you do um, to make that possible. And especially um, to all of you for coming tonight to celebrating so many kids and families um, that we hold dear. She's been doing this for 10 years, right? This is 10, 12, you've been doing it all 12. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, well, we appreciate everybody attending and don't forget, uh, if you want to, uh, if you have uh, kids at home or anything, actually I should announce, Josh Purple, who does the, is doing the cartooning, will, will draw your pet. <laughs> yeah, just if you got a picture of your pet on your phone, uh, he'll make a cartoon picture of it for you. That's one of his special skills. And yes, Betsy. Can we remind them about the flowers? Oh, yes, great idea. Grab a flower. Uh, those uh, are in memoriam for children or for somebody that you're shaving for. And you're free to take one, take it with you, or to leave it here in uh, the jar that's on the stage, okay? Yep, in honor or in memory, whichever. In you honor or memory, you bet. So uh, let's go ahead. We're going to keep this party going. Mary Catherine, Benjamin Langland Johnson, Woo! Elliot down. Nelson, and, we're gonna, um, translate that with and Bradley Olson. Come on up. Start making your way to the state. Elliot. Elliot Nelson from our very own Geek Squad agency. Give it up. Thanks, Brady. Thanks, buddy. All right. Come on up, guys. Mary Catherine. There you are. Oh, Mary. Okay. I'm just reading what's on the paper. I don't know. I'm just a, I'm just a sheep here. We have Benjamin and Bradley here. Come on up, guys. Oh, Benjamin, we don't have Benjamin yet. Okay. Oh, uh, let's play his walk up music. Here he comes. Yeah. Hey. You are Benjamin? You also work here. I do. I, I've never seen you out of uniform. This is, uh, this is an awkward moment for me. Me too. No, Me too. You too. Okay, great. I've been creating awkward moments since 27. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Elliot will be on the way. Is that true? 
All right, all right. Uh, let's do this. Uh, go ahead and have a seat. We're ready. Right there is good. Yes. All right, everybody, let's give them some encouragement because it's time to shave the day.
right, all right, everybody. Let's give it up for our recent crew of Shavies. You know, I just want to say that this program is running very smoothly. We were able to shave a few minutes off the evening. Thank you. I've been sitting on that one for a few. All right. We're going to bring up Joel, uh, Aaron, and Michael, is it Voler? Okay. Come on up. Come on up. Still with Adrian's Bald Beauties and Beasties, Joel and Michael. All right. Come on up. Top of the morning to you. Hey, you work here too. I do. I know you. Hey. I see you around here. All right. Have a seat, guys. Still with Adrian's Bald Beauties and Beasties, right? Yes. That's, that's correct. That is correct. Awesome. And what is your, what is your name? Joel. Joel, where do you work? In CPD. Which stands for... Clocks. Yeah, okay, the cool people. Dust. Okay. All right. And you guys are going to want to stick around. Uh, we have a really big event after this. Oh, my gosh. You're shaving your head, bro? Cool. Um, <laughs> awesome. Um, so you're also, aren't you the bassist for Metallica? Uh, not currently, no. Not currently. Okay, that was a former gig. All right, let's give it up for Michael and Joel. Oh, and let's support them as they shave the day. Forgot that part.
Uh, well, I think we set a record for fastest shave. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> All right, let me sneak by here. Uh, let's say this, on deck, Elliot Nelson and Isla Nelson are on deck. Also, uh, let's. where's Paul Peterson? Are you here? All right, you're on deck as well. We're going to put the fin... Oh, my gosh. All right, wait, let me check in with you. Dude, are you donating? Yeah. Oh, this is a donation, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Or are you like are you like FaceTiming with somebody right now? Oh, that's awesome. His kid's phone. Oh, your kids at home are doing. Oh, that's good. Give it up for that. Hey, let's turn it around and wave. Everybody, wave to his kids at home. Hey, awesome. Oh boy. Well, they're gonna put the finishing touches on. Let's go ahead and bring up Elliot and Isla and Paul. Paul Peterson, you guys can come up around this way where the stairs are. Also, don't forget, uh, we've got sandwiches, ice cream sandwiches, water, cartoons, tattoos. You got the dude. Everybody give it up for the person that's helped me a lot today, Betsy over there. Betsy's been my helper. Every, every year things change and flip and all that, all right. Elliot, Elliot, Elliot. Dude, 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 dude. We all know and love Elliot from our Geek Squad <laughs> precinct up here on the second floor. Uh, you do this, is it every year? Yeah, this is my eighth year participating. Eighth year, everybody. And I believe it's your daughter Isla's fourth year, is that right? This will be her fourth year. Give it up for Isla, yeah. And uh, I understand you have been uh, push pushing out the beard and the hair since September. Yeah, this is one of my many talents, and uh, I just like to kind of show off what I'm best at this time of year. Excellent. Let's give it up and support Elliot, Isla, Paul as they shave the day. Here we go.
All right. Give it up for Isla. And we're still hacking away at Elliot. Awesome. You're losing the beer too or just the head? I'm going all the way. Oh, guys. Real boy again. This guy, when he shaves every year, it is like, uh, you know, you, you look like, it start out as like a prospector in the 1840s, and then you turn into Ryan Gosling is what happens. <laughs> well, I, Ryan Gosling or an equivalent, a slightly shorter, slightly more attractive equivalent. Give it up for oh. Elliot. <laughs> Can you just do me, before we lose the beard, can you at least just say, there's gold in them there hills. There's gold in them there hills. All right, uh, what was your name again? Paul. Give it up for Paul. That was quick. Yeah. Quick and harmless, huh? Pain, painless. That's right, thank you so much. You got it. Thank you very much. Were you part of, uh, who were you shaving for? I'm an independent. Independent, free agent. If you want him on your team, you can draft him. Thanks, Paul. All right, so while I'm up here, uh, Chrisanne, yeah, why don't you come on up? And uh, our interpreter, Adriana, is that right? Am I saying it right? We want to welcome all of you that have come for Patricia Santos. people. That's amazing. All right. Well, we want to be able to tell everybody a little bit more about uh, St. Baldrick's so that everybody knows. So go ahead. We're going to kind of repeat information a little. Here you go. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome to this St. Baldrick's event, this Children's Minnesota head shaving event. Right close. Nice and close. <laughs> Hello, and welcome, everyone, to this Children's Minnesota head shaving event to support St. Baldrick's Foundation. Sí, uh, bienvenidos a todos a este evento de St. Baldrick's acá en, uh, en el Hospital Children's, que es un evento para recaudar fondos eh, uh, pidiéndole a los participantes que se rasuren la cabeza. This is our 12th annual event, but this is our first event back in person since 2020, and so we're so glad to be back here together again. Este es nuestro doceavo evento, pero eh, después de dos años finalmente hemos vuelto a hacerlo en persona. And this event, of course, is about head shaving, but this event is also about honoring and celebrating children with cancer and their families. Sí, este evento es para, como ven, para acerca de rasurarse la cabeza, pero también para celebrar y honrar a los niños con cáncer y a su familia. And this event is also about raising money for childhood cancer research, which is otherwise a very underfunded area of research in our country. Y este evento también es para recaudar fondos para la eh, investigación acerca del cáncer infantil, que siempre, eh, digamos, es difícil recaudar, son pocos los fondos que existen. So funds that are raised here tonight will then be um, shared with applicants who apply for research funding through St. Baldrick's and will fund key research projects for things like childhood brain tumors, childhood leukemias, and childhood solid tumors. Y el dinero que se recauda acá el día de hoy va a ser compartido eh, con los aplicantes que... Um, eh, uh, con, sí, con los aplicantes que están haciendo investigaciones para el cáncer eh, infantil y a través de la Fundación Sign Baldrix se, se distribuyen esas, ese dinero y es, eh, por ejemplo, para investigaciones importantes acerca por, del, por ejemplo, cáncer eh, cerebral, cáncer de cerebro. And really, I would say that we should really think about childhood cancer research as not just something that's done in a lab and not just something that's done in a clinic or hospital, but what we all do together when we think about this um, important topic and while we're honoring and celebrating kids with cancer and their families. Y cuando pensamos o hablamos de investigación para el, um, para el cáncer infantil, no solamente tenemos que pensar lo que se hace a lo mejor en un laboratorio o en una clínica, sino todo el esfuerzo en conjunto que hacen las familias y los niños. So whether it's your first year here or your 12th year here, welcome. Thank you to our very brave shavies, all of our volunteers. Thank you to the dude, our Star Studio team, 
the foundation and all of you for coming together for this important cause. Y ya sea que es el primer año que participan o ya han venido 12 años, queremos agradecerles a todos, a todos los participantes y por supuesto al Don. And a special welcome today for Patty Santos who will be shaving for the first time. We're so excited to have you. Y la bienvenida especial para Patty Santos. I just want to point out, as you can see, they're still working on Elliot. We've got half a mustache left. Um, before you begin, Patty, if you wouldn't mind holding that for me, Chrisanne. Uh, St. Baldrick's did a thing, uh, and you were the top fundraiser for this event. <laughs> but I will uh, turn it over uh, to you, and do you still, uh, are you still are up here? No. Oh, just you. Okay, take it away. Okay. I'll take, take that. that. Okay. Hello, my name is Patricia Santos, and I work as a bilingual patient family advocate in our cancer and blood disorder clinic here at Children, serving all our Spanish-speaking families and their children. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Patricia Santos, trabajo como la coordinadora para familias de habla español en nuestra clínica del cáncer y los trastornos sanguíneos. I wanted to take a moment to introduce my guest of honor, my guest of honor this evening. Some of the teenage patients I've had the privilege of getting to know through my work here at Children's and who are my inspiration for wanting to shave my head. I ask these teens to join me and cut some locks of hair before the shaving begins. Quisiera tomar este momento para presentarles mis visitados de honor algunos de los pacientes adolescentes que he tenido el privilegio de conocer a través de mi trabajo y que son la inspiración para querer afeitar la, a, afeitarme la cabeza hoy. Invité a estos jóvenes a acompañarme para ayudar a cortarme el cabello antes de que empiecen a afeitarme. Teens, could you please come forward? Jóvenes presentes, ¿pueden por favor venir aquí al palco? Ah, he just said, there's a lot of us. And I'm like, yes, yes. Why don't you guys come down just a little bit more? They're still working on Elliot. Give it up. Elliot. Elliot. These, these teens and many others, some who are not with us anymore, are the real heroes. <laughs> I am choosing to shave my head, but they did not choose the cancer and the treatment that led to losing their hair, battling nausea, loss of appetite, pain, and countless other side effects. Their lives and that of their families turned completely upside down. Estos jóvenes y muchos otros incluyendo algunos que no están con nosotros, son los verdaderos héroes y heroínas. Yo estoy escogiendo afeitarme la cabeza. Ellos no escogieron el cáncer y el tratamiento que hace que pierdan su cabello, que tengan que luchar contra náuseas y pérdida de apetito, dolor y un sinnúmero de efectos secundarios, sacudiendo por completo la vida de ellos y de sus familias. I am also doing this to honor my mother, Peggy Santos, who is fighting her own battle against can breast cancer that we thought she beat back in 2017. Mom, you taught me what it means to love our dear neighbor, to have compassion, and to walk in solidarity with those in need. You are my biggest hero and my inspiration in all that I do. I love you and can't wait to hug you again in April. She lives in California. También estoy haciendo esto en honor a mi mamá, Peggy Santos, que está luchando contra el cáncer de seno, un cáncer que pensamos que ya lo había vencido en el 2017. Mami, 
Tú me enseñaste a amar al prójimo, a tener compasión y a caminar en solidaridad con los más necesitados. Tú eres mi heroína suprema y la inspiración en todo lo que hago. Te amo y no veo la hora de abrazarte en abril. I also want to take this moment to say a huge thank you to all my family, friends, church members, and colleagues who donated to my campaign. Together, we raised over $4,000 in just one week. That's pretty amazing. También quería tomar esta oportunidad para agradecer a toda mi familia, amigos, colegas de trabajo y miembros de mi iglesia que donaron a esta campaña. Juntos recaudamos un poco más de cuatro mil dólares en solo una semana. Increíble, muchísimas gracias. Finally, I do have to call out my husband Doug, my son Ian, my son Abe, uh, Ben, my son Abe and my daughter Alessandra are not here. You guys are my rock. <laughs> Finally, I would like to teach you a simple phrase in Spanish, si se puede, which means yes, it can be done. I want us together to say yes to continued support for childhood cancer research, yes to continuing to provide compassionate, equitable, and quality care to all children with cancer, and yes, to a future where children with cancer can look forward to their own bright future. Finalmente, quiero que todos juntos digamos si se puede, en un momento, si, si podemos seguir apoyando las investigaciones que buscan una cura para el cáncer infantil, Sí podemos seguir sirviendo a nuestros pacientes con compasión y la más alta calidad de tratamiento médico y sí a un futuro lleno de posibilidades para nuestros hijos con cáncer. So, repeat after me. Let's practice the phrase, sí se puede. Sí se puede. Okay, and on the count of three, we're going to all say, sí se puede. Yes, it can be done three times, and each time we're going to get louder till we blow the roof off a children's hospital. Are we ready? Listos? Listos? Uno, do, uno, dos, tres. Si sí se puede. Si sí se puede. Si sí se puede. And now, the, the youth are going to each cut a piece of my hair. Jose, is going to be the first. Jose Alfaro Andrade, will you come forward with your sister? Nancy? Angie? Angie! Angie!
Izzy. Izzy. <coughs> Go for it. He's telling me I don't want to cut your hair. coming for uh, in his place. Thank you, Lily. Oh, Kevin. Kevin Morales. one of our leukemia patients. You ready, Brandon? Okay, he is. Go for it. To this side. Okay, move down. Adrian. You ready, Adrian? Yes. Are you going to cut a lot? No. Good job, dude. Whoa. Hi, Elena. You might also recognize was part of our Shine Bright campaign this year. She's finishing her second year at a program at the University of St. Thomas. Um, we're very proud of Maria Elena, too. Michael? Michael, take the bangs, they take say. The take the bangs. Let's make it look fun. All right. Give it up for these kids. Yes. Hey. Why don't you guys come on down this way? All right, Patty. Oh, you got one more? One more? Well, I gotta let my husband. Oh, I have to tell you something yeah. funny. So, Doug, come here. This is my husband, Ian Ben. Come up here. So, this guy says, Well, you know, they say that couples who've been together a very long time start looking like each other. Right, 31 years. 31 years, <laughs> and all week he didn't shave because he wants to be able to say, My hair is longer than yours. Dougie, go for it, Dougie. Okay, wow. I want a good chunk, though. <laughs> He's left handed, folks.
All right, it's time. Grab a seat, Patty. And uh, let's give her a little encouragement as she shaves the day. All right. You go. It's Izzy's dad. You know the cool guy with the hair and the cool hat that was up here? Izzy, this is his dad. And when he arrived tonight, he said, I'm going to shave my head with you, Patty. Me voy a peitar contigo, Patty. Entonces se registró y aquí está. Have a seat. Hey, hey, we are going to add one more person on your team, Patty. Hey, this is Chad, everybody, and this will be our last round of shaving for the night. So, Chad, you originally wanted to be up there with, with Patty, right? I did. Yep. Now your wishes come true. <laughs> Let's give it up for Chad as he shaves the day. All right, thanks. Great clips.
Hello? Oh, all right. There we go. Finally. Okay. Uh, also, there has just been an announcement, too, that if you're still here when they're done, anybody that's had their head shaved, they'd love for Great Clips to get a shot, a picture of everybody together. And I know a lot of people have already left, but if you were, uh, did get your head shaved today, join us close to the stage as soon as we're done, okay? Elliot, did you catch that? Oh, uh, he can't hear me over the high fives. All right. All right, give it up for Chad, everybody. Hey! All right, how does it feel? Nice and fresh. Nice and fresh. You're going to enjoy it. Aww. I wouldn't know. <laughs> All right. I'm going to check in with Patty. How's it going? Oh, actually, you know what? Oh, no, we just blew a fuse. We've lost all electricity. We can't shave you anymore. How does, how's it feeling already? Dice que perdimos la electricidad y que ya tienen que parar aquí. Is it one? Is it one? Jesus. Jesus. Give it up for Jesus. Yes. Well, uh, this is the portion of the show. It's like a talk show. It's just me and you yeah. and a few hundred people. Yeah. El Dudo. El Dudo. <laughs> so what was the total uh, that you raised in a week? I think this is, this. you were, by the way, the biggest fundraiser of this event. And it's, you know, it's not a competition, but it's pretty impressive that you did it within a week. What was the total on that? Do you remember? I, I don't know the exact total. I just know it's over 4,000. That's incredible. And I think, uh, was it true? $4,157. That's amazing. That's amazing. So as we're just finishing up, everybody, a big shout out to Dr. Chris Ann Schultz. 12 years she's been doing this. And do you want to have anything else to say? Why don't you come on up? microphone mostly again I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who came tonight thank you to our amazing brave shavies um, thank you to all of you all of you who made this event possible I would like to say a special thank you to Lisa and Raina who really helped organize this from the foundation Lisa and Raina where are you so we can thank you hello thank you so much you guys did great Thank you to the Star Studio team. Thank you to all of our volunteers from tonight. And every, again, everyone who made this possible. Absolutely. We do have some exciting news. So this year, again, our 12th annual year, we, but our first year back in person, we had more than 30 shavies tonight who shaved the day and raised more than $22,000 for childhood wow. cancer research. I thought it was really cool too is that uh, every year, um, I, I don't see a lot of the, these families, of course, but it's so great to see the returnees doing this year after year. It's so incredible. And, you know, to be able to see them at this event, I think of uh, uh, Brady, uh, Chris Kostick that was here, that, that shaved for his sister and, and his daughter. And I think it's just an incredible way to show support and, um, and to live... In, in this life, bringing their legacy with them. I think it's just an amazing event. I'm glad we did it. Yes. Again, so to all of you, um, to team friends of Emily, Adrian's Bald Beauties and Beasties, Down with Dylan, I think Brady's team name this year was Stud Muffins, um, and to all of you here to support Patty Santos and all of our incredibly brave and wonderful patients and their families, thank you so much. Awesome. We'll just get a final few words here from Patty. Also, thanks again to Caffrey's for the sandwiches. Totally delicious. And Kemp's for the ice cream sandwiches. Totally delicious. 
And the bottled water company, who Whoa. the water, donated, that was good water, donated by, by um, Justin Nelson. Justin Nelson. Oh, thank you very much. And, of course, you guys give it up for our great clip stylists. I, I can see them looking at me like they can't wait to get their hands on this dew, you know. But next year, next year. Awesome. Now, yeah, the Clippers are warmed up. All right. Patty, oh, my gosh. Oh. Why don't, we, why don't we start a campaign for next year, okay? Well, we didn't shake hands, so it's not really a deal. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't this look amazing? I also think it's, oh, no, no. Believe me. <laughs> What's your husband's name? Um, hey, I just wanted to say this, too. This is a big deal to put on all this, like, the stage and everything like that. And we really ap appreciate our environmental services crew that's going to come through and clean all of the rest of this up. That's really, yeah, we appreciate them quite a bit. And also, uh, we have Mr. Wizard, Seth, and Sarah in our booth. That's Scott on the camera. Taylor's running around with the camera as well. That's a Star Studio crew. We've been broadcasting this on Channel 13 back into the rooms all night, so our patients and families have been watching this all night. We'd also like to, um, Shana Madrid. We'd also like to thank our event photographer, our volunteer event photographer, Shana Madrid. Thank you so much Shana, for helping thank us you. capture this event. Thanks to both of you. For ushering oh us this no, night I did so nothing. I did nothing. Way to eat your, over your share of sandwiches, dude. Good job. All right. Oh, and I should address too, for those of you that have been watching us on Channel 13 throughout the whole night, I'm so glad you hung out with us. Hopefully, uh, if you couldn't make it down, somebody came down and grabbed you uh, a Kemp's a sandwich or a sandwich from Caffrey's or something like that so you were able to enjoy some of the night. Because I know that's what kids love to do. They love to sit around and watch people get their heads shaved. You know, it's a thing. They like to watch Minecraft and head shaving. It's true. It's a trend. All right. Oh, it looks really good. It's, you're going to be very happy. Oh, you've got a few little hairs to... You can take care of that at home, huh? Patty, any final words? I mean, not final words, but... Last words, not last words, I mean, what am I, no, I'm just kidding. What would you like to say in closure? Si se puede. Yay. Also, let's uh, gather everybody, come on in. If you've had your head shaved, come on up. We'll get into uh, the front area here so we can get a group photo, is that right? So come on up. Also, if you had your head shaved in honor of someone, please take a flower with you today, a rose, okay? A white rose. Anybody else that had their head shaved, come on up. 